There are a million different ways that people clean and lubricate their guns. I'm just going to show you really quickly how I lube mine after cleaning. Obviously cleaning, a nylon brush is good to have. Uh, Q-tips, they get pretty dirty so definitely be ready to pitch those. I've used Hoppies number no. 9 for years on all of my guns. I've never had an issue and I don't have a whole, a whole lot of carbon buildup. It does a really good job of cleaning barrels in the inside of the gun. So. Uh, what I like to do though is take a Q-tip, dip in the hoppies, and I'll swab the inside of the barrel real good, set it aside while I'm cleaning everything else. Then I'll go back to it later. I'll use a brass brush, and then I'll punch it with a little cotton guy, and I'll see how it looks. If it's still cruddy, I'll punch it with a brush again, and then I can run patches through it until they're clean as well. So it's going to depend on how long it was since the last cleaning, you know, with exactly what I do. So. Uh, this barrel is all cleaned up, scrubbed, good to go, so I'm going to set that aside. The slide has already been cleaned up also. I'll show you best I can here. Really clean down in there and nice. <clears throat> Got out all of the old grease, the grime, any little uh, brass chunks or aluminum. If you shoot aluminum ammo, steel, whatever it may be, get that really nice and clean. Same way on the inside of the frame as well. Clean the rails really good, scrub it. I'm not gonna put you guys through that. I mean, that's it. That's how you clean a gun, guys. <laughs> clean all the nooks and crannies. Um, now and then, though, I do suggest, just like anybody, take your pins out of your Glocks, break it down, give it a good detail cleaning. That's good to do. And people have different round counts. They'll do it once a year. Some people every 5,000 rounds, some people every 10,000, which means some people never ever do it because they shoot 300 rounds their entire life so we'll put the uh, frame aside got the slide recoil spring generally what i'll do is just wipe it down i'll put a coating of rim oil on it uh, it's got teflon in it and i've had good luck with that my entire life with with uh, everything from shotguns to pistols to rifles uh, and i take that and i'll show you what i do with the rim oil here in just a little bit so uh, but the hoppies i don't glob it in there i'll just put it thinly on a rag and clean everything take my brush scrub it so I get everything nice and clean, and now it's time to reassemble the gun and put it back together. So I'm gonna take the rim oil, and I'm gonna spray it on the outside of my barrel. And you can get any product you want that has a Teflon-type protective coating. I think Ballastol has it as well. So there's a lot of products out there, but, and I just rub that in real good. It's got a nice sheen on the barrel, nice and shiny. All right, and I'll set that aside. <clears throat> Grab the wrong rag. <clears throat> okay. And there are different trains of thought on this also with your guns. I don't mind now and then taking a little bit of the rim oil and hitting my uh, trigger return spring back here and even down inside of the trigger mechanism and then work it a little bit. And I mean, just a, just a little squirt down in there. I don't want to saturate it. I don't want to bunch of crap collecting around it and getting gritty so that's always been I've always had luck with that too no problem so to reassemble and I'm gonna show you guys what I use to lubricate my guns and that is high temperature disc and wheel bearing brake grease um, it will last you for years I can't tell you how long I've had this guys the thing is six bucks at uh, you know uh, auto parts stores whatever these I can't think of them uh, O'Reilly's, those type of places. <clears throat> I think it's less than $6 and it's cheap. And then what I did was I went to CVS, still has a CVS pharmacy logo on it, and I asked them for a syringe. <laughs> I did get a look from the lady at first when I went in and I said, hey, you got any syringes? <laughs> I was thinking I'm a meth head. And um, obviously I think she realized I wasn't. Neighbors going by. Uh, she realized I wasn't a meth head. So then she goes, you want a big one or a small one? <laughs> I said, just give me a small one. It's fine. And where this thing is a, a really nice to have is <clears throat> you can push just a little bit of grease right out the end. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I will just dab that. Just touch it on the rails of the, of the uh, frame. And I don't even put that much. Just a little bit. See, that's a little much on the front rail. So it's just a little bit. I'll show you. 
see the red globs there on the rails back here and up here. Just little tiny globs. Come on in, Brock. You're fine. Yeah. I'm doing an informal gun cleaning video. It's my son. You guys have seen him before. How was your workout? Good. Good. And what I'll do is take the wood and grease or the barrel lug makes contact on the inside. Just a thin film right up there. Very thin film. Now one of the arguments against grease in guns is a little collect dirt. <clears throat> so does water. So does oil. So does gas. So does milk. Any kind of fluid will. But here's the thing. Grease is thick enough it's going to stay where you put it. So think about it. If I did nothing but take a thin gun oil and I put it in my slide, I put my gun back together, and I put it in my holster, where's all the oil going to go? Down toward the muzzle end. If I grease my rails, put the gun back together, where's the grease going to go? Right where I put it. So then I'm going to take four little dabs of grease. I'll show you guys this close up also. Hope you guys appreciate the informal video tonight. I don't know if I really have my mic. Got my garage door open. It's a beautiful evening. All right. So now you can look right there and right there. And I did that on both sides. Okay? So the grease is in four spots on the inside of the slide, very, very, very lightly on the rails. And then where the locking mechanism is, and I prefer to do it this way, right on the locking block. Put a decent amount right above my finger there. <clears throat> where you have metal on metal contact, especially high heat, if you run your guns quite a bit in the summertime and you're going through a lot of rounds, dumping mags, high temp wood bearing grease just makes sense. So got my Teflon coating here, really nice. I've got my recoil spring, which I've already wiped. Start putting the gun back together. Barrel recoil spring. Put the slide on. And I'm gonna run it several times. Press the trigger a few times. Then I'm going to lock it back and what you're going to find is you're going to have some grease that has run out the back side, some excess. So just wipe it off. Then you don't get it on clothes, shirt, shorts, anything like that. Now the other argument that I've heard, which I think is pretty silly, about grease is what's good for when it's warm, but when it's cold, it's not so good. I see that if it's a military application or your gun's gonna be in sub-zero temperatures exposed for a long time, I get it. But me as a civilian, I've got the gun and appendix up against my body that's 98 degrees, even in the winter, it's, it's still warm. Inside the front of my pants, up against my abdomen with a, a hoodie and a coat, the gun stays plenty warm and I've never had a problem. And you guys have seen me run guns in below zero temps. All of those guns had wheel bearing grease in them. So the last thing I'll do is on the outside of the slide, just a little bit of rim oil. You can hear that. I'm just basically putting leftovers, just a couple little taps, and I just rub it in with my fingers. And I'm going to wipe the excess off. And again, the reason I do that is to put that Teflon coating on. And what I found is the longer I do this, your guns get easier and easier to clean to where you can finish a range trip and have carbon build up all around the muzzle take a dry rag, wipe it, and it comes right off. It works really nicely. So, as they say in the gun world, your mileage may vary. Some people are probably downvoting this already, saying that's a stupid way to clean your guns. Well, guys, there are people that use uh, mobile synthetic, uh, actually like uh, 50 weight motor oil on their guns. If it works, and if you have a proven track record that it works, and your guns haven't failed, and they work in warm weather or cold, I don't think there's a wrong way to lube them. 